Barry grew up on Foxhall's Road and he spent his school days at Foxhall's Comprehensive School. Once, while walking home with some friends, he didn't see a manhole cover was missing in the road. Barry instantly disappeared as he fell down the hole, ruining his school uniform. When he got home and told his mum, expecting sympathy for his injuries, to his surprise he got a right rollicking for ruining his only blazer. Following Barry's school days, he went on to secure an electrical apprenticeship. This is where he learnt the skills to support his future family when it came to rewiring houses, adding extra power sockets, replacing plugs and changing light bulbs. Following his apprenticeship, he then went on to become a qualified electrician. It was around this time he met the love of his life, Susan Caroline Mitchell, who he went on to marry on the 16th of September 1972. Barry enjoyed the honeymoon period of a cooked breakfast and a pack up every day for a whole week. On the 11th of March 1975, Barry's daughter Karina Rambauer was born. Feeling they could improve on their first attempt, they set about extending their family. So on the 14th of December 1977, the heir to the family name was born, Christopher Charles Bauer. Barry felt the pressure of family life too much and escaped to Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, his family followed him out there. After a few years of sending his hard-earned cash back home, he admitted defeat and came back to the UK. Once back in the UK, he treated the family to a brand new, top of the range with all the trimmings, larger Eva estate, golden fleece. On a family holiday to Devon, whilst leaving the car in an empty car park and enjoying a day out at the beach, returned to find it full with thousands of cars. However, the ladder with the golden flute stood out a mile, much to Barry's delight and the kids' embarrassment. In the years that followed, Barry's career took him through various companies such as Scunthorpe General Hospital, Skippingdale Paper Products and then back on the steelworks. He spent some of his free time as a local parish councillor, a football steward for Scunthorpe United, a supportive father, grandfather, husband and son. <laughs> 